Hello people. This is my uh, Bench Solutions fold down bench or work table. Uh, I made a prior video about it uh, where I put uh, this uh, pad across the top. It's a rubber pad that I got from uh, Kmart for $19.95, let's say $20. And uh, I put it over the surface of the table to protect it and just put some black tape, duct tape around the edges. Now, in the first video, I was talking about how with all the work that I do on the surface, that it would obviously, sooner or later, the surface would be damaged, discolored, scratched, and so forth. And sure as hell, it's been uh, probably six months or more, I'm pretty sure, and uh, the surface did just, that, did just that. So what I did originally, originally I thought I was going to just have to rip up the pad and put a new one down since it was, uh, you know, very inexpensive. Then I decided, hey, you know something, I had a pile of flex seal that I would bought. So let me just put some flex seal on the top of it, and maybe that'll work. And I put the flex seal on top of it, it looked beautiful, and I made a video about it, as a matter of fact. You're not going to find that video now, because two days later, I actually erased the video. I erased the video because I came down and found out that two days later, the flex seal was actually still wet, still tacky, and leaving some black tarry substance on the hands. So, I waited and I waited a week later, two weeks later, and sure as hell that flex seal still was tacky and uh, sticky. Now, I'm not beating up on flex seal because I used the product for uh, some uh, roof uh, gutters and other pr uh, places, and it worked perfectly and it dried perfectly and uh, sealed everything perfectly. Uh, I don't know whether it was the application inside this hot garage or the fact that it was applied on top of this rubber that uh, made it not cure. But whatever it is, uh, it definitely wasn't the place for it here. So what I did finally is I found this product, Rust-Oleum Flex Dip. And this is actually more like a uh, liquid rubber, a spray and liquid rubber. And it comes on a very thin, thin coat that doesn't come on all thick, which works out really well. And not 20 minutes after that application, I realized that all that stickiness is gone. It's already dried 20 minutes, and that's on top of all that sticky stuff. That should dry up most of that sticky stuff. You feel a couple of little spots, but I don't know if that's the fact that uh, it hasn't dried yet, or maybe I missed it spraying over it, because uh, like I said, since it goes on very thin, it's very easy to miss a certain section. I'm gonna apply a second coat. But anyway, if you've seen that uh, first video before I took it down, Definitely do not use Flex Seal on a surface like this, but you can use the Rust-Oleum Flex Dip, which works out really, really good to restore rubber surface. That's about it.